Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install and configure the latest Plus Music Unity plugin. As of this recording, the current version is 1.0.14. In addition to the plugin itself, you're going to need a Plus Music account and an active project on our website, with at least one track in it. If you haven't signed up for Plus Music yet, you can get started with a free test account at plusmusic.ai. For those of you who have used our previous beta plugin, we've made some significant changes to the way the plugin operates. Specifically, it now runs as a singleton instance in the background, allowing us to keep all your audio cached in memory between scenes. That also means the configuration and setup have changed, so please keep that in mind. I'll link to the change log and detailed instructions in the description below. Okay, let's get started. I created an empty Unity project, and I'm going to drag and drop the plugin into the Assets folder. There we are. Import. It's going to take a few seconds. All right, there we are. The first thing you want to do is configure the plugin. It's an assets plus music resources plus music settings.so. Um, persist across scenes. Leave that on so all your audio is cached uh, across scenes. I'm going to check debug mode so we see some extra output in the console. Going to disable pingbacks for now, we don't need those. Use local cache, audio will be cached locally on your hard drive so next time you start your scene it will load faster. This is where you put in your project ID and authentication token from the Plus Music website. For now I'm going to leave this empty. We actually have a default free project that has four tracks in it. It uh, will load that automatically if you leave this empty. I'm going to leave uh, autoplay project on for now, just to show you empty scene without anything. If I hit play now, it will actually load the first song from the free default project and immediately start playing it. Uh, switch to console, hit play, and we're loading audio, which takes a second on the first load. And there we are. So that is the simplest way to get audio into your project. Simply leave the default settings, leave autoplay on, and the moment you start your scene, audio will start playing. Now you probably want to have a little bit more control over how this all works, and I'm going to show you that in a second. But first, if you go to Project, plus music scenes. We have two sample scenes that we included. Uh, In-game UI shows you how uh, you can interact with our plugin API and uh, get that into your in-game UI. So let's open that. And there's the Text Mesh Pro. Uh, yes, we want those. Can close that. And that's a sample UI up here. Let's just hit the play button and see what it does. There it loads the song. It uh, gives you some ability to change the volume in real time for each of the individual layers. We have uh, uh, bass, drums, top mix and vocals individually that you can change. Actually, let's switch to Little Runner, which has vocals in it. that out and just play top mix. It's kind of cool. It uh, shows you how to interact with the API through a UI. And uh, let's go to this song. This should be cached and play immediately when I click on it. There we go. The second sample scene we have shows you the different arrangements that you can play. Uh, we now call them sequences, so if you see sequences mentioned on uh, in the documentation on the website, arrangement sequences are the same thing. Let's play this one. And it shows you 
which arrangement it is playing. It uh, starts with backing track, but you can click on any other one, victory. Plays a victory moment, failure. This gets kind of quiet. And oh, it doesn't have full song. All right, highlight. There we go. So you can play with that a little bit just to see uh, how we interact with our plugin API. Those scripts all have the source code. You can look at the source code and see what we're doing there. But now let's go back to our empty scene right here, sample scene. So in order to have a little bit more control over what you're playing in a scene, we made some prefabs. First, let's go to the settings. We turn off autoplay because we want to manually control the play. And then in the uh, prefab, let's use the load track prefab. Put that in the scene. You can either use a track ID, which is available on the website in your project there. You see the unique IDs for each track, or you can just use an array index. In this case, the free project has four tracks in it. So if we want to play Little Runner, which is the second one, we uh, add our array index one. So that track gets loaded. Load on start means it gets loaded when the scene is loaded. And then uh, play after load means it immediately starts playing. You can also have this trigger of objects in your scene. You can specify on enter or exit for the trigger. And then it says play a root object, but it can actually be any root, uh, any object with a collision enabled. Uh, let's leave it like this. Switch to console, hit play. Actually, save first, then hit play. And we should be loading Little Runner. Okay, so that sort of gives you control over uh, when and where within a scene you want to switch tracks to a different track. Uh, you can either load them immediately. We also have a prefab load all tracks, which would load all the tracks and cache them in memory. And you don't have to play them while you do that. Um, and you could put that, for example, in a loading screen when you're loading your scene and other assets and you just load all the audio tracks, and then the moment your players start playing the game, all the tracks are immediately available, and you can just switch without, uh, without delay between them. So we made a prefab for that as well. As you can see, it's, it's really easy to configure, to use. It's very simple. And uh, this is it for this video, I think. Um, I'll put links down in the description to all the documentation that we have. And uh, thank you.